Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK here and today's uh, review is the Beagle V2 by Minchin. They kindly sent this over for me to review. This particular version that I'm bringing into the screen now is the V1. Anyone that owned this um, would know that there was a few restrictions, one being the focus. You couldn't manually do that from the outside so you had to remove the back panel um, which was obviously kind of defeats the object, especially when you had to move it from the position of filming. Also the restrictions on the Wi-Fi connectivity. Now over to the V2. They, as I said, they kindly sent this for me to review and hopefully some of these issues have been resolved. So as we unbox this, um, you will find some nice little stickers. Um, a lot of these brands uh, do add some stickers and you can do whatever you want with them and the uh, glossy manual now having owned the v1 i know that the glossy manual had a lot of information was very easy to set up so today's review is really around the actual um, kit itself rather than the how-to guide um, i know that having set this up myself it was very easy it gives you a quick introduction of what each location of the um, camera is um, where you can find it what each sensor is and stuff like that and how to focus you also it, this one also comes with a, a tripod which i will show you later on in the unboxing um, the v original version had some restrictions as to the movement how to set it up connecting it up to the um, beagle app which is quite easy to download you can download that from various apps um, and how to connect it up to your printer also gives a web page so you can view this from your laptop or your desktop and you can um, dial into this externally and always watch your prints. It also gives you like how to set up that and what the web address would be, the um, IP address and how to log in. Like I say, the actual information is quite intense in terms of how much information is there so you won't struggle to um, set this up. Let's set this aside and carry on with the unboxing. So this is the actual camera itself. It comes with a 1080p res video resolution and the compression is MJPEG. You can do night version, so black and white, and you can do color night version, which is also available on the V1. The frame rate is 25 FPS, which was also the same with the first one. And it has an auto time lapse video, so clean, normal timer and UV sensor mode. And like I said earlier, its Wi Fi connection is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, so this makes it for a lot easier for connectivity. The SD card was a 32 gigabyte that actually come with this. And as you can see, it has the manually adjustable focus on this particular version and it didn't have that on the previous version, the V1 on the left hand side. So this is definitely a major improvement in terms of the Wi-Fi connectivity and the focusing. And side by side there's a huge difference in size so aesthetically it looks a lot better. They have improved this. In terms of functionality it's pretty much the same, it's just the improvements of the focusing and the Wi-Fi connections and probably some of the quality and definitely the stand using the tripod. So we're going to move this um, to one side now and as you can see just before we move on you can use USB-C so any sort of USB-C products will work with this to power up the actual camera itself. So let's continue. As I said earlier, it now comes with standard st uh, with the tripod and with the maneuverable connection as well. So um, you can do it in two ways really. So the first way is that you connect it up to the bottom of the camera and go direct from the tripod. Um, this would obviously mean that you can't angle the camera other than just having it placed um, upright like so. But you can do that if you choose. And the other way is obviously using the uh, ball joint connection. Um, this allows for you to swivel the, um, the actual camera in many different angles and, and leaning upwards and downwards if you choose. So we're going to remove the tripod that we added earlier. And basically you add this connection to the tripod 
um, is fairly simple and uh, fairly self-explanatory in terms of how to connect that. These join together and then this connects up to the camera like so. Once you've come to a point where you can feel a bit of resistance, you use the, uh, the rubber stopper at the bottom just to make the final connection. Um, let's move the box to one side and I can show you how this performs and functions. So if you undo this uh, twisty knob, you will see that now that the camera moves quite freely on this ball joint. Now you can have it at many different angles. It really depends on what your um, printer setup is and what sort of angle prints that you want to take time lapses of. Most people would generally do it in this sort of angle, but you can have it facing downwards if you're slightly higher and elevated, or you can have it facing to the left or to the right. It really is your choice. Um, it just makes for a better use. And as I said, you could purchase this through their website. I think that's a major improvement, so thumbs up. So to the rest of the unboxing, on the right hand side you will find all the power cables, so the uh, USB plug. Most of us have quite a few of these now, They're pretty universal. The USB to USB-C connection. These can actually be used for the printer as well, so a lot of the modern printers use USB-C, but you can use this as well. So overall, I'm really impressed with this V2. Um, I, I genuinely think that they've improved this to the, the previous model, the V1 on the left-hand side. Um, the manual focus, the um, Wi-Fi connectivity of being able to do 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is really, really great. Um, in terms of the aesthetics, they've definitely improved it. Um, they've definitely gone away from the um, dog-looking camera, so let's just put that to the side. The tripod as standard in the pack is a great addition. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with this and uh, definitely be using it for my time lapses. It's a definite thumbs up from me. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, 3DP UK. And uh, take care, everyone, and speak to you all soon. Take care.